Hi, welcome to automation testing that in in this video we are going to see capture full page screenshots in extend reports version 3 and the topics which we are going to see is taking full page screenshot using a shot and capturing an extend report uh, after serenum 3 means uh, the rate, latest version of serenum is now 3 uh, after coming to the 3 uh, when you took screenshot it will take only the visible area of the uh, screen uh, in previous version in the Serenium 2 if you go for Firefox it will take the complete page screenshot uh, how it is if I go to uh, automation testing that in now in the Serenium 3 it will take only the visible area of this one what you are seeing on the web, uh, screen it will take only that area in the selenium 2 firefox it is to take this entire page screenshot till end this entire page it, it is to capture but after coming to the selenium 3 in all the browsers with irrespective of the browser whether it is chrome firefox or whatever it might be it will take only the visible area but sometimes there is a need of taking the full page screenshot okay you want to capture entire page as a screenshot how you can take okay for that you have a separate api called a shot okay you have a separate api called a shot if you type uh, a shot in here uh, you will come it is in the github you go to here and you can download it from here and you can add it is a jar file okay so uh, if you can if you download and attach that to uh, your jar workspace and we'll write uh, sample program to capture the entire uh, screenshot and put, uh, put into the extent report i did not add it a shot uh, i'll add a shot into my workspace mm. Where I have exactly you can see here a shot 1.5.3.jar. You just add it to your workspace. Okay, now um, first we need to capture the screenshot of entire page. For that, we'll write a separate utility class and we will call wherever there is a need. Uh, you can you can watch my previous video there I just explained how to capture the screenshot and place it to the extent report it is that extension of that same uh, video like there you took only the visible area but here you will take entire uh, page uh, over page okay for that I will take one class uh, I will say get full page screenshot okay finish and I'll write the logic here like public uh, static. You have to do a string, return type string. The reason is you have to get the where exactly the screenshot is saved. You take the path of that screenshot and place into the extent report. That is the reason I'll, it will return the screenshot location. I'll say capture uh, full page. Okay. I'll say. <coughs> I will pass web driver driver comma string screenshot name some full page dummy dummy name whatever you you want you can give and I'll import uh, this one web driver <coughs> now we have a class called screenshot in the uh, a shot okay new a shot dot uh, you have method called you just import these things from the a shot um, a shot from this one now you have shooting strategy okay shooting strategy in this you have to mention the shooting uh, strategies okay shooting strategies dot 
viewport one of the methods called viewport passing and scroll timeout and say from the milliseconds dot take uh, here you are going to take screenshot of driver okay this is the line it will capture inform uh, entire page screenshot this thousand days it will scroll the page slowly means with this delay now for each scroll it will take one second okay then it will uh, capture entire thing uh, and it will uh, give in the form of screenshot okay we'll see that how it will you know happens and uh, i'll do my string test test equal uh, system dot get property and user dot dir will give the current workspace name and plus and mention error screenshot what the name i have put for screenshot in the previous i will mention the same thing get screenshot screenshots okay i will put the same name screenshots means it's a folder name there and uh, i will add as a this is dot png and i'll mention the screenshot full page here okay uh, whichever name you want and you have to this image ivo dot write as a method and here you have to mention screenshot dot get image and you have to mention which format this this is this is png format and the output is it's a new file of where destination okay how to import java info Uh, this way you have to uh, use these methods provided by the a short okay now you return the uh, destination path where exactly the screenshot is okay the return type is string and where the destination means where the screenshot is this is under error screenshots okay you just return this uh, path then you can use wherever you want now we will write the exact uh, what is a test case to uh, verify this one okay i'll guess new class capturing full page screenshot okay capturing full page screenshot and then i'll take the some common code from the previous uh, classes see this much is common <coughs> and i'll explain what exactly it is you have three classes in the extend reports extend html report extend reports and extend test and web driver interface html report record new extend uh, html reporter you have to mention where exactly uh, you are uh, placing your html report extend report where you want to place i am placing in the test output folder and extend equal new extend reports and you have to attach this report to your extend object extend dot attach reporter of html reporter okay then i'll write the actual test case okay this actual test case is at the rate test public void uh, or is a capture uh, screenshot capture screenshot Okay, I'll import this test annotation, and I'll copy some uh, code from the previous test case. Please watch my uh, previous uh, videos in this series in this playlist to get the clear understanding. Okay, I'll import. 
and I'll import assert also from the test engine. And I'll explain like test test is a extend test object equal extend dot create test and give the your test case name whatever you need. Mean this is the, this line should be the first name uh, first line. Then only it will capture the screenshot information. Otherwise, it will not capture the information. Then I mentioned where the exactly Gecko driver is, and I'm using Firefox driver, and I'm navigating to automation testing data, and I'm getting the title. I'm asserting the title. Okay, and it will definitely fail. The reason is I'm deliberately failing. I'm giving some wrong title to assert. The reason is if something goes wrong, how it will capture the uh, what is a uh, full page screenshot, and it will place in the uh, what you say in the extent report after method what should happen if something goes wrong public void get a result and I'll mention uh, usually see for past, past test case also you can capture the screenshot but usually uh, we will capture the screenshots for the failures okay the normal way but you can take wherever you want and wherever you want you can take I will say one of the I test result is an interface in the test engine. The result. I will import this I test result. Now I will say if result dot uh, get status is equal to equal to I test uh, result dot <coughs> fail. Okay. If the result is failure, what need to do? I have to first capture the screenshot. Okay. String uh, screenshot path equal to get full page screenshot class and static method capture full page and the driver and what I'll name uh, I'll I'll name it as I have to put some name. Okay. My full page screenshot I'll mention. My full page screenshot okay <coughs> sorry and now uh, test dot fail okay I am failing this and I am mentioning where result dot get name plus what I will say test case failed and um, I have to mention extent color dot red ok something wrong remove ok you, you have to mention this one in the uh, one of the classes called markup helper dot markup helper dot create label ok create label and I have to mention one more parenthesis okay. the error will be uh, error will be I have to throw some declaration in the far, in background uh, red background color and test dot fail dot fail and I'll mention result dot get drive I am capturing the uh, what is a entire uh, stack trace uh, now I want to capture the screenshot okay test dot fail you have uh, I'll, I'll give something information like uh, screenshot below okay and I'll mention where exactly means we have one of the methods called add screenshot from the path and you give the path yeah, I am giving uh, add screenshot from the path I am passing the screenshot path where exactly the entire screenshot is ok now this is done now what you need to do once after completion of everything you have to flush the report till here the action report is captured the information is captured but you need to flush uh, flush to report for that you have to mention after test or after sort uh, according to your need 
where you want to mention. I'm I'm taking single test so that it is a reason. I'll say after test public void some tear down here I'll mention extent dot flush. Okay, this much code is enough to capture the entire screenshot and it will place into the extent report. I'll say run as stng test. I have errors. Cancel where exact it is. I'll go here. I have to import this after test. Okay, I forgot. Now I'll run this. Run as test. The browser got open and it is navigating to automation testing that in. If you see it is scrolling with one second delay okay it is scrolling with one second delay till the end it will scroll now i think it got completed you see completed it got failed now i'll go to this uh, i'll refresh my folder and i have named as my own report my own report uh, I'll capture this where the exact path my report okay I'll go here and I'll paste here okay if you open this one it is failed and capture screenshot test case failed and expected is something and actually something that is the reason it got failed if you go here you see entire screenshot you see entire screenshot it got captured but in the previous video if you see it only captures only visible area but here it will capture the entire screenshot okay this way you can capture the entire screenshot using a shot api and it, will, it you can place into the extent reports uh, that's all in this video uh, thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like us at our facebook page